Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. We were successful in our defense of the Rune Drive. They wanted the Rune Drive, an engine power amplifier, a very powerful device. We can use this device to strengthen the golem you're using. Or golem. There's no time for you to do the work alone. Let's see if I can give you a hand. So we go we go up here, we can grab the Rune Drive. Let's power up this golem of yours! All right. Well, first thing, uh, let's... We're not gonna have to spend a lot of money to reload the ammunition because we used a, uh, a deal. Let's do this as well. All right. So, uh, all we have to do is go talk to Nikolai. And, uh, he will come out with us and fix up our golem, or golem. The rune drive upgrades the shield, er, the rune drives upgrade the shield mechanism of the earth golem. The earth golem was called the Fort of the Gods, the ultimate machine created to cope with the demon race. It may be mankind, mankind's last fortification. I'm an arms blister, I learned everything I know from old man Zippet. All right, so. The two rune drives will restore the weakened power output of the Earth Golem. Its anti-phasing shield is at full power and will disintegrate anything that touches it. If you think about it, it's the ultimate offensive weapon as well. I don't believe people should possess powers beyond their control. The history of our people is to fight for power. With power, there is a chance for meaningless destruction. The old man Zeppet used to say, the saga can be reversed if the power is used to protect the precious. There is a, def a definite. There is a definite difference between the power to acquire and the power to protect. I will revive the power of the Earth Golem for the righteous fight of protecting Vilgea. The Earth Golem apparently agrees. There's said to be a ruin in the snow-covered northern mountains where a light of illusion guards against intruders. Some say that the demons live there, but it is not certain. The Earth Golem should now be able to break through the Light of Illusion that is probably the Demon's Barrier. And it can. So, and now we can actually get into the Photosphere. It seems really early, like, it seems like that should be a final dungeon. It's not. Like, we're actually gonna go, uh, we're gonna go to the Photosphere and take on some demons. I wanna save, you jerk. Why do you always, he always asks me that with a snotty parrot attitude. Parrots are all snotty. If you have a pet parrot, I'm sorry, but... I'm just kidding. I actually have nothing against parrots. Although a guy I work with and a good friend of mine has ferrets as pets. And uh, personally, I've only ever in my life met two ferrets and I've been bit by ferrets twice. So, not a fan. All right, so here's our Earth Golem. And uh, we have to go around this way. And here it is! You sure the Earth Golem can handle this dreaded thing? Watch out for the shield boundaries. If any part of your body touches the shield, you lose it. Okay, okay, we get the message. Oh, I guess that was hand pan talking. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Okay, princess, do your thing. Tell us God neutralizes the defenses. They are not tools, Andrew. Please, Earth Golem, would you help us? I <laughs> just... Yes. Right, yes, I will! This is fantastic! This is powerful, all right! And they say the anti-phasing shield is a defensive weapon. Let's get inside this thing. The enemy won't stay quiet much longer. It's probably good advice. 
All right, the photosphere. Now, uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, we come over here. We have to avoid these red spaces and blow up these generators. Ta-da. Yeah, there will be there will be monster fights. They're not too tough in here. All right. Uh, if I remember, okay, Jack Lantern. Their weakness is uh, is darkness is evil. Actually, the uh, the magicians. Their weakness is holy. I okay. We're gonna do that. Uh, he is gonna do meteor drive, and she is going to. Analyze, because we're gonna have all new enemies in here. It makes sense to to show them off. Spontaneous combustion. Well, that seemed rather planned. I mean, spontaneous implies spontaneity. All right, our wizard is level 31. He has a thousand hit points. 97 magic points, and he's weak against Holy. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. So, let's see if we can analyze the Jack Lantern thing or whatever. Counter attack. Good for you. Well, Meteor Drive's gonna destroy him then. Yeah, it would've done that even without her attack. That thing punched me in the face! Well, that's the end of that. Oh well. Alright, so now... We go up and blow up this one and we can get through that door. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, I actually really, um... Yeah, you know what? Let's prism ray these jerks. We'll meteor drive him, but I really want to get an analyze off of this guy. This nightmare. I didn't hit these guys this early in my initial playthrough. So, all right, Nightmare, level 28. Not a lot of hit points. Weakness is also holy. The vampires have a holy weakness as well, in case you care. That one just committed suicide by attacking us. Okay, she's not going to get a chance to analyze that vampire, probably, but... Cut down! Knock it off, buddy. Well, that'll end that guy. <laughs> Meh. Alright. So... We head up. We have another little shield generator issue. All right, cool. Now, I think I'll prism ray them, meteor dive him. We'll see if we can get an analyze on the vampire. Yeah, because that guy's dead. Prism Ray shouldn't kill them both. No, it did exactly what I needed it to do. Alright, it's a vampire. It's level 20. Its weakness is holy. So now all we have to do is those jack lantern things. And anybody can kill this just by hitting it. 
All right. A magic carrot. Fantastic. I love that. All right. We got a potion berry. There we go. One down, one to go. There are going to be a lot of random encounters. There's nothing we can do about that. Okay, cool. All right. Prison, Prism Ray. Sonic Buster. And Analyze. She probably... She, if Those two together might actually kill them. Ow, no flash. Crap. Oh, I really need to heal her. All right, so we are going to get a chance to take him on. And there we go. Their weakness is evil. <laughs> Sonic Buster. It doesn't even matter. Sonic Buster is going to just take them all out. Which is fantastic. And we got a holy symbol. Awesome. Now, Flash is a status ailment, so... And I don't remember what particular item cures it. Ah, it's a light shroom. Alright. So, you just walk over here. We have another shield generator. And uh, we have to go this way. Because we can. Alright, all vampires! Huh, what am I going to do about this? Prism Ray. Sonic Buster. Valkyrie? Why not? We'll give that a shot. I got rid of two of them. That's better than I expected, actually. No life draining. It's poor sportsmanship. Well, now you die. Everybody's attacking you. Look at that. How, that your life drain didn't even extend your life for moments. Not even moments. All right, three treasure chests. Potion berry. Potion berry. Full revive. Fantastic. Oh. Wait a minute. I don't remember where we need to go. Um, okay, just a second. Alright, I got it. I, I thought I had it. Okay, I don't really have a good option for... I guess let's just do this again. Ah, oh, cut it out. Just die already. All this has to do is enough to uh, knock them down. It did nothing! I would have been better off attacking with her. Alright, so when we come back, I'll have a better handle on this. You guys take care, and bye everybody.